Hi guys, as you can see we have something interesting here and they are called continents. And today we're going to form them with, with supercontinent Pangaea and, and we can talk about the plate tectonics and what caused the continents to move. And they, these huge, these things are called continents. And now let's start. First, we're gonna put them into a world map, what it looks like today. So we're going to put North America here. Okay. And then South America here, Africa here, Arabia here, and oh, one second, Greenland here. Oops, this is too. Okay, wait, what? Okay, now. We have to put these a bit chilly down. Okay, now. And we're gonna do, um, oh yeah, Eurasia. We're gonna put it here. And Australia. But, but sorry for mentioning that, that Iran and other bunches of stuff like China, Mongolia, and Southeast Asia don't exist, but they really exist in real life. But I just cut it them out from the, the rest of Eurasia in the map. Okay, and one second. Um, now, oh yeah, the last continent, the loneliest continent in the world, Antarctica. So. A fun fact about Antarctica, it is the coldest continent in the world and it doesn't have any people living but it has so many, what, one type of interesting animal, they are called penguins, they are so cute. And now let's do the plate tectonics. First. Okay, that first, uh, what's it, okay, first the Americas were moving and so did Africa move and Arabia smashed it into Africa and Eurasia started to move towards North America as well and Australia starts to connect with Antarctica and both of them will touch South Africa which is in Southern Africa and then Greenland attaches North America South America gets really close to Africa Eurasia finally smashes with North America and Antarctica also smashes with Australia now. And then Africa smashes with South America as well. And then Antarctica and Australia moved to this part. Now there were only two supercontinents. The ones that have attached the land together are called supercontinents. The one in the north here is called Laurasia, and the one in the south here is called Gondwana. And now your Europe touched the nor northern Africa, and your and North America touched. Europe by a pleasure and also touch South America and that's this is another supercontinent called Pangaea and now we're gonna explain 
about how how the continents moved. The answer is tectonic plates. Tectonic plates have mag magma underground which cause the land masses to move which are called tectonic plates. And in the inner core, and in the inner core is is causing them to move. And also the magma cause plate plate tectonics to move which causes earthquakes like in the ring of fire in the Pacific Ocean here. But by the but by the time when Pangaea existed it was called the Panfalassa Ocean. There was just one there was just one ocean and there was just one sea I, I know. It was called the Tiffy's Ocean. And soon the Indian Ocean formed when, when the continent started to split apart. Just India started to go, when India started to go and smash with Asia below it, the it there was the Indian Ocean, and that's how the Indian Ocean formed. But eventually, but eventually, the Pamphylassa got turned its name into the Pacific, and it's the, and it's still named the Pacific nowadays. And there we go. This is what the Earth looks like to death. But the plate tectonic, this is not the end of plate tectonics yet. In fact, they will never stop moving actually. I, in, ne in the next few million years, the Africa will go up with, your, with Eurasia and probably form Afro Eurasia. The Mediterranean Sea won't exist anymore because Africa smashed into Europe and formed a new mountain range like the Himalayas. And Australia <coughs> will also move upward, smashing <coughs> to, to Asia which is part of your Asia and eventually smash into it. It's Afro this continent is called Afro Euro Australia or who knows it's maybe a supercontinent. And America starts moving side and then Africa starts moving upwards even more. And Antarctica starts moving up to where India's place is. India will stay there with the Himalayas, but it will, but the southern tip of it will probably bend. And this is Pangaea Proxima or Pangaea Ultima. Who knows? It it's Ultima is the last word because it's going to be the last supercontinent, or maybe not. There we go, that's Pangaea Ultima. When Pangaea Ultima forms, Africa will also collide with North America to form, to form a mountain range here and one here, here, I mean here, because this is where the summer tip of it is, and that's the supercontinent. And also, guys, did you know that tectonic plates move as how fast your fingernails grow? That is so super slow, isn't it? And, and Pangaea existed like 335 or 200 million years ago that's a long 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 time ago and even humans didn't exist there was dinosaurs all over the place but an asteroid fell into the earth and killed them asteroid has fought asteroids has fell 
into other places, but they weren't as big as the asteroid that hit it a long time ago. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, but sorry for not looking at this camera, but is do, do I really disturb you that? But anyways, I hope this video is again for you. Bye!